adding Reshade to 5M, shooting be hard at all. And as you can see, we have Reshade working here. We could play around with the settings. And since I don't like making my videos super, super long, let's go ahead and get started with this tutorial. Now, the first thing you want to do is click on the second link in the description, which is going to bring you to, of course, a written guide on how to download and install Reshade. Now, this is an in-depth guide on how to install Reshade for GTA 5. And even though this is for GTA 5 and not 5M, well, this guide is still pretty useful because we're going to have to install Reshade for GTA 5 before we install it in 5M. So yeah, if you don't want to read through the guide, you're going to scroll down and you're going to click where it says download. That is going to redirect you to the Reshade website. You could also search this website up. But if you want to get to the right link, you could just click on download. And then once you're over here, you're going to click on download again. That is going to redirect you down here where we're going to download Reshade 6.0.1 in the future when you're watching this. Maybe there's a new version out there. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and click download Reshade 6.0.1. Let's go ahead and save that file. Now let's go ahead and drag and drop that Reshade installation file into the desktop. And to install Reshade, all we have to do now is double click on it. That is going to open this menu here where we're going to look for GTA 5, Grand Theft Auto. Now, if your game is not loading like mine right now, you could always type GTA 5 in here and wait for it to load. But sometimes it takes extremely long. So I'm going to show you how to find GTA 5 if it's not loading up in here, right? So all you have to do is click where it says browse right and now find the installation folder of your gta 5 game if you have the game through epic games or steam it doesn't matter we're still able to find it let's say for example that you had it on steam let's say that this was your gta 5 this is not clearly gta 5 because i don't have gta 5 on steam i have it on epic games and i'm going to show you how to find it in a second but let's say that this was your gta 5 game all you have to do is right click on it click where it says manage and click where it says browse local files and then that is going to open the installation folder of gta 5 select this string of text on the top Control c to copy it and then head back to reshade and add it right here. If you have the game through Epic Games, all you have to do is head over to library, find your GTA 5 gaming here. As you can see, I have tons of games. My GTA 5 is right here. Click on the little three dots, click where it says manage, and then click on this little folder that appears right next to it. That is going to open the installation folder for GTA 5, and then Control C to copy it, and then head back to reshade and add it in here. Right here on this search bar, go ahead and paste that GTA 5 installation folder, and that is going to bring up GTA 5. Now, if you install GTA 5 through Rockstar Launcher, I'm still going to leave in the first comment below in the comment section. I'm going to pin that comment. I'm going to leave the most common installation locations for GTA 5 in case you can't find it, right? So let's go ahead and select GTA 5.exe, not the play one, the GTA 5.exe by itself, and then press enter and then click next here on the reshade installer. Click on direct X 10, 11 or 12, click next again, and then uncheck all and check everything again to select all the reshade presets. Let's go ahead and click next again. And let's wait for this to install. Now, make sure you watch this video until the end, not because I want watch time, which I obviously do, but because we are going to be doing things until the last second to make sure Reshade is working on 5M, because I know with the new version of Reshade, a lot of people are having some issues and stuff like that, and I don't want you struggling, okay? So once Reshade has finished installing, go ahead and click where it says finish, and now you could even delete the installer if you want to get rid of it. Right click on 5M, right? If you have it here on your desktop or search for it in your search bar, right click on it and then click where it says open file location. Once you have this folder here, go ahead and open the 5M application data. I'm going to move this to the side so it doesn't get too confusing and then go ahead and put this on one side of the screen. The next thing you want to do is open your installation folder for GTA 5. Now we already had that selected. So if you launch a new folder and you paste it in there, it's going to put you in the installation folder or you could always head back, you know, to your launcher of preference and open the installation location of GTA 5. Anyways, once you have this folder, go ahead and put it on the other side, just like so. So we have two folders side by side. Now in the 5M application data, I want you to create a new folder called plugins. I already have that plugins folder, but I'm going to go ahead and delete it. So right click, click new, click folder and type in plugins. If you already have the plugins folder, then just go ahead and open it. Whatever the case might be, just open that folder. And now you're going to copy a couple files from over here into here. The first file you're going to copy is the reshade shaders, this folder right here. Let's go ahead and control C that folder and paste it in here. Now you're going to scroll a little bit down and you're going to copy dxgi.dll. Make sure it's the dll one because there's another one in here. You have to get the dll one. Go ahead and control C and paste it in here. If you don't know which one is the DLL one, you could always right click that file, click where it says properties and make sure that it is a DLL extension. Or you could also click where it says views show and make sure that file name extensions are showing in order for us to see that DLL in there. Anyways, let's go ahead and paste that in here because it didn't paste. There we go. And now you're going to scroll down in this folder and you're going to select these three files right here. Reshade that INI, reshade log and then reshade preset that INI again. Let's go ahead and select those three files, control C and paste those three files over here. Now that we have these five files on the plugins folder, 
we're going to close out from GTA, the installation folder, and we're going to minimize this folder. We're not going to close it yet because if we have some issues when logging in, we're going to have to come back into there and fix something. Okay, let's go ahead and launch 5M. Now, for many of you, this is it. For many of you, you are done and you are finally able to use Reshade on 5M. As you can see, my Reshade is loading on the top. And as you can see, if I press home now, Reshade is already working. I could have skipped the tutorial and stuff, which I'm not going to do that yet because I'm still not done. Make sure when you open 5M that you head over to settings, click on game, and that this first option is disable. Okay, make sure the fix, UI, lag, whatever, this is all disabled because if it is enabled, Reshade is going to crash your game. So disable that. And now, okay. If you didn't get 5M and Reshade working at the same time, I want you to press F8 and read in here. Read what it's the issue, right? What's the problem that is giving you many times? It's just going to tell you what you need to do to fix the issue of Reshade not working on 5M. A lot of the time, you're going to have to head back into the 5M data folder. That's why I told you not to close it, right? To this folder, and then you're going to head back to the 5M application data. And in here, you're going to have to change the settings from the citizenfx.ini file. So what you're going to do is edit it in Notepad. And sometimes, sometimes only, you're going to have to manually add this string of text right here. Now, with the new update of Reshade, it's already adding it itself to this file in here. But many times, like I said, you might have to add this manually. How do you add this? Well, simply head back to 5M. And if in your specific case, you have to add that text in there, it's going to tell you here exactly what you have to paste in this citizen FX that INI folder, okay? And you're gonna create a space in between the text that is already gonna be previously here. You're gonna paste this in here. Your ID number is gonna be different than mine, but the 5 m f 8 menu will tell you, the console in here will tell you what you have to add, okay? So it's very important that you keep in mind that if that is your case, you have to do that. In my case, it did it automatically, but I know for some of the people, it might be different. Let me go ahead and launch a server and show you how to use Reshade. And as you can see, we finally load into this random server I joined just to test these settings. And if we press the home key, we get this. Of course, we could have skipped the tutorial. I don't know if you want to go through the tutorial, that's something you could do. And in here, you're going to start adding things. You could change, you know, add a couple things in here. Something that I like to add is head over to the search bar and type HDR. And then like adding the blooming HDR, which kind of makes it look, you know, a little bit nicer. Or you could also add this HDR setting. You could also play around with the contrast. And obviously every single preset that you select in here has more settings that you could change down here. You could always scroll down here and change the settings of that specific preset. And you could also head over to settings. Let's say that you don't want to use the home key because maybe the home key, it's an important key in your role play server. You could always change that key in here by clicking next to that key and then pressing whatever key you want to use. Let's say you want to use the insert the end or whatever other key you want to use. I'm going to leave it in the home key because it doesn't really matter for me. But you could always change that in here. Anyways, guys, that has been everything from me. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to add Reshade to 5M. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and a comment. And as always, bye bye.